I want to mention this interview that Helen Mirren did with Evening Standards Brave New World. You guys you guys see this? Uh, I, I saw not. it, and I say leave Helen Mirren alone. <laughs> leave her alone. She's fine. I believe so, it's Dame Helen Mirren, mm-hmm, by yes. the way. Um, so this is from standard.co.uk. I have known Helen Mirren for years. We sat down next to one another at the Evening Standard Theater Awards about a decade ago, and we've never looked back. She is someone who can be hilariously matter-of-fact. Quote, I always say it's so sad that Kurt Cobain died when he did because he never got to see GPS. It's true. It's the most wonderful thing, my little blue spot walking down the street. I just find it completely magical and unbelievable. We should all be saying this. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it it's insane. The satellite tells you where you are. It is pretty wild. And I think he would have been a lot less sad. You know, oh my God. <laughs> wow, Deb. oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna have to bleep that one. Uh, sometimes, it, the thing sometimes that's crazy about GPS is it actually smells like Teen Spirit. That's what, I, what I've always said about it. I should quit while you were ahead, Jeff. Um, but I will say, sometimes, sometimes we just say shit, like sometimes you're you're just like chatting Absolutely. with friends or whatever. Like, it's People are making a bigger deal out of this as if she's making some sort of like proclamation. We just say dumb stuff to each other. It's okay. Absolutely. And in fact, every day we should be like, whoa, this blue dot tells me exactly where I am. (laughs) Uh, I remember how anxious I used to be driving in the 90s and the early 2000s. And all of a sudden, GPS, magical. Do you guys remember Thomas Guide? I do remember. I remember printing out map that was. Yeah. Awful. Printing out everything. Everything used to be so awful. GPS has uh, reconfigured the way we live in the world thanks to military what, GP, global pa- uh, satellite position. When I was in high school and just barely driving and I needed to go somewhere, my father uh-huh. would unfold the unrefoldable map and literally and take a pen yeah. and draw the route for me. I had to drive routes, entire routes, with my dad. I had to, like I, there was like a thing I went to when I used to work at Office Max. There was a corporate event of some kind. We drove the route. We just drove it together, just so I would just have a practice. sense of just to <laughs> yeah. practice the yeah. route. Because I was yeah. sixteen, it was like one of my first times on the highway. So it's like you. It was a lot harder than it is to get around now. Now kids don't want to drive because they yeah. can just they can be Ubered everywhere. It's amazing. Now we've achieved Nirvana. Oh wow. You got us there. <laughs> we used to be as helpless as a naked baby in a swimming pool. <laughs> and Matt, if Helen Mirren were starring in the next uh, Bill and Ted, like if she was joining Bill and Ted, bringing back people from the past, showing them the technology we yeah. have now, people from the 90s would be like, what the hell is happening in this society? Like I've been gone oh, yeah. for 20 years, 30 years, and you have uh, pocket supercomputers, you have global positioning, you have uh, little flying drones that cost like $100, $200 now. Um, crazy. Th- it's crazy. It is crazy. I-, I had that exact thought. I don't mean to bring keep bringing this back to what I'm preoccupied <laughs> with, but I had that exact same thought while I was beating up bad guys in a virtual <laughs> environment as it's Batman. True. It's incredible. And I'm like, what? What? future am i i'm in the like this is literally yeah my greatest dream realized Mm -hmm. people who wanted flying cars are dumb like look at the future in front of you because it's pretty wild yeah i i tend to agree with davindra that you know helen mirren's 79 years old she's probably spoken hundreds of thousands of words in these interviews yeah and they happen to fall in a configuration that wondered about kurt cobain's lack of gps in his life you guys have never had like a bad response to like when you did a interviewing for a job or something i remember like interviewing Uh for like scholarships before college i was like I was so tired. And somebody said one thing. It's like, who do you admire? And it's like, the only thing my mind went to was the special of Genghis Khan that I just watched <laughs> on Discovery. And I was like, oh, uh, that Genghis Khan guy. That's pretty good. There you go. He was yeah. quite the ruler, that Genghis Khan. Well, at least you're not running for president, Devendra. It's true. I mean, nothing could touch. Now you could say anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Apparently, uh, 8% of Asian men yep. have uh, Genghis Khan DNA. What an accomplishment that Genghis Khan. <laughs> That's a lot of something, you know? Yeah, That's a lot of doing one thing. Like, how did he have time to conquer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video of the Filmcast. Check out these other videos that we have available, and be sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get other videos from us in the future. 
You can also go to thefilmcast.com to catch all of our audio podcast versions of all of our episodes. And support this podcast at patreon.com slash film podcast, where you can sign up for ad-free episodes and exclusive After Darks. Thanks so much to everyone who makes the Filmcast possible. 